Hi everybody. Are you ready? Uh, welcome uh, to Microtech User Meeting in Yerevan. Uh, I'm glad to meet you. Uh, today, I'm going uh, to talk about uh, the plug and play solution for managing LAN users with, uh, Mark Rotor, uh, with Microtech Rotor OS. Uh, this solution can be used in every place uh, that you need authentication for client and your network is unmanaged. And uh, you don't have enough IT man in your network because the solution uh, don't have any additional software or connection on uh, client devices. And uh, the solution is very easy and you can run it very fast. Uh, before the starting uh, configuration it, uh, please uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Mohammad Jawad Sabri. You can call me MJ and you can find me uh, in uh, all of social media uh, with MJ Sabri. And my, net for, uh, my company name is Afrotic. Also, uh, I'm a certified trainer at Microtech. I'm Microtech Academy Trainer. I'm Microtech Certified Consultant. Also, I have Master of Science uh, Computer Engineering, and I have full certificates from Microtech. And in this slide is I love Microtech. Uh, now, you can see my recently classes uh, with my friends. And uh, if you want to learn uh, Microtech, uh, you can uh, contact me with uh, email or uh, phone or telegram, uh, email, and uh, so on. And you can uh, my information. Uh, you can see my uh, information about my Microtech classes on my website and um, Microtech news. Okay. Now. Uh, we will do. Uh, okay, you can see my topics on the screen. At first, uh, I want to talk about uh, the, sol uh, the solution, and uh, after that, uh, talk about configuring them. Uh, okay, what is the application of the solution? Uh, the solution can be used for every place that you need authentication for client when you don't have any authentication and manage on your clients in your network, okay? Such as university and large office and so on. Okay, I have a scenario for you, a good story. I'm uh, MJ and I'm network administrator in a big company. Uh, I have 4,000 users uh, and uh, I don't have any authentication for client and limitation. And you can see me and my clients um, when I see graph of internet usage. Uh, they drive me crazy, excess, excessive of the, in, uh, the usage of internet. But uh, my goal is uh, add, uh, uh, add an authentication router in a network and uh, limit them. After that, uh, I will be happy and they will be sad, yeah? Um, in this solution, uh, I used Hotspot. Uh, what is Hotspot? The Microtech Hotspot Gateway provides authentication for client before access to public networks, such as the internet, yeah? Uh, but Hotspot um, is uh, created for wireless networks. You can see a Hotspot network when client uh, connect to access point. Hotspot login page will be loaded for client and client can access to internet after success authentication. Uh, but um, if you run Hotspot in uh, internal network and wired network, uh, internal traffic is blocked and in big uh, problem 
but in this solution, uh, we want to configuration hotspot in advanced mode and solve the, pr uh, the problem. Okay? Uh, now, uh, in this, uh, my network, after adding hotspot router. Okay? Hotspot router do um, authentication user, traffic controller, and bandwidth splitter. Okay? Now, we want to add in hotspot router to wired network. Okay, uh, before uh, to starting, we should connect the cable between hotspot router and ADSL modem or another internet gateway. It's not important, yeah? Okay, uh, we have a network and we have a DHCP on modem and just need, uh, and we need uh, add DSP client on hotspot router and uh, get IP settings from ADSL modem. Uh, you can see configuration it. We should go to IP menu and click on DSP clients. After that, DSP client window will be loaded for uh, me and uh, um, we should click on add. After click on add, in these windows, we should select the interface. Watch interface, or I'm sorry, which interface? Uh, interface that is connected to internet gateway, such as ADSL modem. After that, uh, hotspot router can get IP settings from internet gateway, and uh, my hotspot router has internet. Yeah? Now, uh, we should uh, create connectivity between hotspot router and core router in network and forward all traffic uh, from core router to hotspot router, yeah? Okay, um, I use a small subnet for this connectivity because there are two devices in this uh, network. Uh, for create uh, this connectivity, uh, we should, um, uh, we should uh, connect a cable between hotspot router and core router and uh, set IP address uh, on both of them. Okay, uh, we should go to IP menu and click on addresses in hotspot router. After that, we should click on add for adding IP settings. Okay, uh, you can see my configuration on this screen. Uh, one IP address uh, on uh, hotspot router and select interface. Which interface? Interface that is connected to core router. Yeah? After that, we need a static road. Why a static road? Because a uh, hotspot router uh, should um, uh, or has to ping my clients in my network. Okay, ping or access. Uh, okay, for adding root, we should go to IP menu and click on uh, roads section. After that, uh, we click on add, uh, we can see a root window, or a new root window. Okay, in destination address, we should enter range of IP address of my network. Okay, as you see on the screen. And the gateway, we should enter Core, uh, core router's IP address uh, for this route, okay? Now, uh, we want to add IP address uh, on uh, core router. Uh, for setting uh, uh, IP address on core router, we should go to IP menu and click on addresses, yeah? After that, address, addresses list will be loaded for me. And we can click on add for uh, adding IP address. IP address uh, um, uh, like hotspot router, just um, another IP, uh, IP number two. Uh, and select interface, which interface? Which interface? Interface that is connected to hotspot router because now uh, we are uh, to create, uh, creating uh, connectivity between hotspot router and core router. Okay. 
And uh, we need a default route uh, on core router uh, because uh, we want to uh, forward all traffic to hotspot router for authentication. Okay, for uh, adding route, uh, we should go to IP menu and click on routes. After that, uh, we should click on add and set gateway, just gateway, because we want to tr forward all traffic to hot hotspot router, yeah? Uh, in gateway section, we should hotspot router's IP address and click on OK. Now, uh, all traffic in my network uh, after core router will be forwarded to hotspot router, yeah? And uh, we need an authentication method for authentication users before access to internet. Uh, now, we, uh, we want to start configuring uh, hotspot in advanced mode, but very easily. In the previous slide, we create uh, this network and put hotspot router in between uh, internal gateway and core router. Now, we want to configuration hotspot. Before to starting uh, hotspot setup, we should enable DNS uh, because DNS is necessary for hotspot. Uh, for enabling DNS, we should go to IP menu and click on DNS. After that, you can see DNS settings windows. And uh, you should set IP address server of DNS server in server checkbox and set all or remote request checkbox. And after that, click on OK. Now, uh, hotspot routers can uh, respond to DNS requests. Okay, and we can start to configuration hotspot. Okay, for uh, starting to configuration hotspot, we should, go, we should go to IP menu and click on hotspot, but uh, with different uh, way. Uh, for advanced mode, for hot, configure, configuring hotspot in advanced mode, we should go to server profile and click on add. Okay, after that, we can see these windows. In these windows, we should enter, off, uh, enter uh, IP address of uh, hotspot routers uh, that is connected to core router, as you see on the screen. And we should set a, hot, uh, a DNS name for uh, hotspot. Uh, DNS name uh, should be FQDN name format. For example, hotspot.afrotic.com, okay? After that, we have a server profiles for hotspot. Okay, now uh, we can add a server. Uh, for adding server, we should go to server tabs and click on add. And set just two parameters, interface and profile. Uh, interface is connected to core router because all traffic come uh, from uh, core router, yeah? And uh, in profile section, uh, we should uh, select profile that is created in previous slides. Now hotspot setup is running, and uh, when client uh, want to uh, access to internet, uh, will be lo um, face to face with hotspot login page but uh, they cannot access to internet because uh, we don't have uh, enough uh, IP public. And uh, for solve the problem, uh, I want to add a NAT, a source NAT. For adding source NAT, uh, we should go to IP menu and click on firewall. After that, in firewall table, we should go to NAT tab and click on at. And set this configuration. You can see my configuration on this screen because it's very easy. Uh, okay. Uh, and after that, uh, we should go to action tab and uh, set action uh, parameter as mask red and click on OK. Not, uh, now, uh, all traffic from my clients uh, will be not in hotspot router. Okay.
Uh, okay. Now, all clients in my networks, when um, they uh, they want to connect to internet, we uh, will uh, face to face with hotspot login page, and after a successful authentication, can access to internet, such as, for example, user one two three, uh, or sorry, user one and uh, password one two three four. Uh, after success uh, authentication, uh, client can see a status page, uh, IP address, byte usage, connected, and uh, so on, and can access to the internet. Okay? Also, we can see um, my clients, all my clients, uh, in host tabs, and we can see active clients in active tabs. Okay? Okay, now uh, we want to uh, talk about a uh, customized page. Uh, you can uh, edit a login page, default hotspot login page, with HTML and CSS, and uh, upload on the router and enjoy it. Uh, you can find it in file list, uh, name is login.html. Uh, you should download it and uh, edit, and after that, upload it. Okay, uh, in this solution, uh, I talk about authentication. Uh, but you can, uh, for uh, accounting, uh, you can uh, you you can use uh, user manager. User manager um, is full power uh, accounting software. Uh, it's free. And you don't need to another server because you can run it on the uh, hot, uh, micro, microtech rotors. Uh, and uh, you can see uh, user management environment uh, on the screen because for configuration them, please refer to my presentation in microtech mom Dubai 2016, uh, one year ago. Okay, my reference. And thank you. Do you have any question? No? Thank you. <laughs>